Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today we're going to talk about Alexi and how she is not good enough. How her ability is only really good for blue madness? I, I don't... Okay, so the story was, this deck is not her deck. It's not. She is filling the slot because her the the commander of this deck is on loan, essentially. This is a morph deck. Ixidor, obviously, is the commander that belongs here. So he is in the deck, but he is not the commander because y'all know about the deck building challenge, uh, the five decks I did for the alphabet decks. There is only one blue legend that starts with the letter I. Now, why the letter I, you ask? It has to be the letter I because every card in that deck has to start with the same letter. So, if it's going to be blue, I had to do one for each color. Island kind of sets I as my default. So, as far as blue legends go that are start with an I, maybe we'll get another one and th that yet to be announced legend can take over the uh, I is for island deck and I can get Ixidor back in his rightful place as commander of this deck now chose Alexi because I can't imagine ever building her or I would probably in that scenario I'll have to but but anyway it's morphin time first card is Dream Chisel. It kind of seemed like a, a, uh, a natural fit to me. I'm going to try to go through some of these that are not morph creatures. The only other artifact in the deck is a Felden's Cane. And you sack to use it. So, I did that kind of on purpose because Herkel's Recall becomes really, really powerful then. We crutch hard on artifacts. I know I do. And just about every game, you see lots of artifacts out there. That's why Chroma's Vengeance is so much worse than a Wrath of God. Anyway. I love some Ether Eyes to just bounce all, all, all attacking creatures. If you're going to attack me, you're going to recast them all, buddy. Military Intelligence. Because, I mean, all of our creatures essentially are coming down for three mana. So we're going to have, you know, a turn three drop, a turn four drop, whatever. And so you're going to have, you know, creatures. Control Magic is just good to take one of theirs. Uh, let's look at some card draw. It's just pretty generic card draw. Jace's Ingenuity, Divination, Deep Analysis. Tidings, Compulsive Research, Concentrate, and that's it for my card draw. Now, either spouse is really close to the same thing. They get choice, but hey, either it's gone to the bottom or it's cost them an extra draw. So, turn to Frog and Pongify pretty close to the same thing as the removal as well as in crust tried to find all the cards I could for uh, that dealt with morph so backslide sunken hope is not bad it, it can actually be beneficial to our morph guys Wash out. Man, I wish that was an instant. I wish everything was an instant, though. <laughs> like this. Tap all creatures without flying. Okay, now we're going to get to the morph, guys. I actually uh, have these sorted by set. So to, to make sure that I didn't, you know, duplicate. Uh, let's go back here. Future site. There wasn't that many sets that actually had morph in them. 
Fate Reforged, I skipped completely because I just don't like the Megamorph mechanic at all. Okie dokie. The first thing that introduced Morph was the set Onslaught. It was tied heavily to the wizard theme, to the wizard tribe. And we're just going to roll through some of these. Now some of them, as I said, Onslaught introduced Morph. And then Legions, the all-creature set, started doing things that happened when you morphed a creature. So this one, when you morph it up, you can morph something else down. The Dermaplasm. Things happened when you turned them up or down. So that's when they started to experiment with the morph. And then we got to Scourge. And they continued it. And except they started doing like... Um, like this, a, a morph of zero. And then, the, uh, of course, they gave us the, the rune caster here that you get to draw cards. Which really works with the other guy for flipping them back and flipping, flipping. Now, you want to talk some memory issues? Oh, my gosh. I have to constantly keep looking. Then, years later, we went back with Time Spiral. And Time Spiral, the Time Spiral block brought a crazy amount of mechanics with it. Uh, I think Time Spiral block had more mechanics than any other block in the history of, I know Future Sight itself had more than any other set. But, but then they started to do, like this was a normal morph card, but then there was alternate cost for morph. Now, the most popular of which was, of course, Brian Elemental. Pickles was a deck. It was, wow. Ooh. And then uh, there was a, a fixed rarity slot in the... Uh, uh, fixed rarity is the wrong word. There was a special rarity slot in the Time Spiral pack known as the Purples. Uh, it was a special rarity. It, supposedly, they're all the same. There are just as many Void Made Prodigies out there are as there are Acromas, but so I, I use the Void Mage Prodigy and the Wheel Bender from the uh, Time Shifted set. Then Planar Chaos didn't have anything, so we went to Future Sight and had the Unblinking Bleb. When a perm is turned face up, you get to scry too. And then it gains vanishing. So then we went a long time until Cons of Tarkir and Cons of Tarkir said, you know what, we're going to bring back some morph. And they did morph as, as they do. They did some plane and then they did some that triggers when things happen when you morph. Uh, target creature gains hexproof is pretty good. I like Thousand Winds. Turn face up. Return all other tap creatures to their owner's hands. Now, thing here is uh, to remind is Morph does not use the stack. Meaning when you Morph, no one can respond to it. It just happens. Playing a land and activating a morph ability does not use the stack. So it's not like they can bolt it. That was something they kind of had to solve during design and development because, let's face it, it would be useless if you paid three mana for this creature and then, oh, I'm going to pay the morph cost. Well, you know, after you do, let's bolt it. So that's why. But an interesting thing is that it does not use the stack so it cannot be responded to. You retain priority. Anyway. Paragraph of text when it, and then 
We went to Fate Reforged that had something called Megamorph, which I absolutely positively hate that mechanic. So I skipped it, and it's technically not Morph, so it doesn't interact with the Morph cards. So, in Dragons of Tarkir, we got something called Megamorph. This will work for Morph cost. But Megamorph, not really aptly named, I'm telling you. It, it's it, it, it's kind of a very cheeky kind of name. I mean, they could have come up with some. I mean, Mega Morph. It makes it sound amazing, like it's going to be, you know, a Super Morph or something. But it comes in with a plus one, plus one counter. Yay! But it's still Morph, so it still works for this particular deck. And, and of course, you can see uh, that they did there. I like the Shore Crasher because, you know, it's kind of hard to kill. The Lore Master. Now, the Bell Toll Dragon was one of my favorites because when you flip it over, it keeps that plus one, plus one counter. So by spending three, the. The cost here is actually, you know, it, it was a big thing to make it higher because you're getting that plus one, plus one counter. If we had a bunch of dragons, it would be cool. We do have a few cards that change creature types, but let's face it, that's kind of an afterthought. Then we have our last card is the Stratus Dancer. You get to counter spell. This is an, one of those great cards to flip back over with your other guys that is what i've got for today along with a plea to wizards to please make another eye legend in blue god that is oddly specific it really is anyway i do appreciate y'all watching y'all let me know what you think uh, i'll firmly admit this is not one of the better ones it was uh yeah we're box checking on this one pretty much Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Y'all let me know what you think, but right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.